I am. And um, I... people will recognise you. Say hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Babs. Everybody knows me. Everybody hates me. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. We don't care. Either, I so um, live seven minutes from this hotel. How did you feel knowing about this? Frightened as to fuck. Why did you feel frightened? Even more frightened thinking about what's coming this summer because I can't. I'm 62. I don't have great mobility. Um, and it, yeah, it's just. It's just not right. These these men shouldn't. They're working age men. You know, I've got four children and I've got a couple of grandchildren. I'm scared shitless of the future for them. You are. You are. Yeah, yeah. I am. Do you I think, am. For do you think there's them. a way of? Do you think there's a way of turning this round? Do you know what, Tom? I don't want to say this, but. I don't know. I don't think so. And really? that's honestly how we feel. Because there's too, too many. There's, there's too many here now. How, well, how, how can we stop them? How can, what can we do? Yeah. Close the border. That, that's the what we need to do. Is the only way. And then we need to deal with the ones that are here. Is, is it fair to say, right, because people say, oh, oh, borders and all the rest of it. Is it fair to say that we should completely close our borders off, almost like an iron curtain, if you like, and sort our own shit out first? Yes. Is that fair? Yeah. I think we need to stop anybody coming in to this country for at least five to ten years. I honestly do. I honestly do believe that. Agreed. Because, you know, it, it, this situation is crazy. Oh, that's my city up there, yeah? Yes, it is. In the last five years, that city, that, that precinct has changed. I walk through there, and there is sleeping bags, there's everything in that. And that wasn't there even two years ago. Um, it's, it's it's crazy. Would you say it's happened in, into Southampton in the last four years? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and yeah, there's 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 a saying, isn't there? Yeah, men, um, men, men fleeing war take their children and their women with them. Men going to war leave their women and children ah, behind. Well said, well said. So. Thanks, Thanks, Tom. Thank you. That was really well said. So what I want, I just want to say to you guys as well is. You may think this is inhumane. Well, fine. Spend a few dollars and fix it. Here's the thing. Australia, before the woke idiots got involved, right, had a brilliant plan. In nine years, they eliminated the, the main part of their uh, immigration problems. The way they did it is by, instead of going out and sending boats to help people, they didn't send anything. They let people sink. And guess what? The message got through. People stopped trying until, obviously, the woke brigade came in. So... So you've got to understand that that worked in Australia. Apparently, they're doing the same thing in Greece now. They are firing warning shots, and then, and then if that doesn't work, well, they sort of will up, they'll upscale it. Um, and believe it or not, that may sound inhumane to some of you. It works. And here's the thing: if you don't want that to happen to people, fine. Instead of using the money that we're using to bring them over here and house them and hotel them and put your own daughters in danger, okay, fine. Let's put the money into taking them back where they come from or to the next safest country like they're supposed to do by law don't forget the very fact that a lot of these people have come over on the dinghies which we've just had it makes some criminals like if anybody else was criminal in any other line of this this life you'd be on them you lefties would be all over them but no if it was tom robinson and he's done a misdemeanor you'd be bloody i'm not gonna say it but let's just say you'd be rather sexually aroused so i think do you know what? I think we're just going to leave it there. There is a video coming um, that will put, that shed light on this. And I think we're going to do a part two because it needs to be done. What I will say to you is this is just to show you we are here. This is a public service announcement. This is to show you that Urban Scoop and people like that, we're here on a budget of 56 quid and we're still doing it. It won't be the best video you ever see. It doesn't need to be. It needs to be informative. It needs to be helpful. Everybody in every county could be doing this. The quicker you do it, the quicker we make the map, the quicker we, we can stop them changing their names, and the quicker you can make everybody know they sold their neighbours down the fucking river. We've got to do something now. We were never asked. 
We were never asked about our veterans. We were never asked about our own homeless. This, and, and they're all men of fighting age. What more do you need to be told? Really, what more do you need to be told? So I'm going to cut it loose there. I think that's as far as we really need to go today. Um, but please understand, in the city of Southampton, and probably in a city near you, it is not safe. It is not safe because people are walking straight by something that's not safe every single day. We were never asked. And the result is a coming tragedy. I'll catch you soon. This is Tom Fury, and I am Rude by Choice.